wanted to talk to you guys about waterproof, the difference between waterproof and watertight. Rooftech's waterproof, and I'm gonna show you what that means. The RT Apex base. We've got one by six plank. A beautiful uh, resin uh, uh, cylinder. I used some marine caulk uh, with countersunk uh, groove that was routed out, so we make sure we get a nice waterproof uh, container for the uh, for the water. So let's throw some of our roof tech screws through this base. Now I've got five here in case I miss the rafter on the first go. So I'm going to put in that and sink that top center screw. That's like, you know, my pilot hole. Let's see. Let's see if there's any water coming out of the bottom of this hole. Well, you know, I didn't feel like I hit a rafter on that one, so I'm just gonna add these other screws. Five all day when I go, go into the rafter. Chances are when you're working on that rafter, if you're going for it, you miss it on that top center, you're gonna hit it on one of the sides. Now, one by six is probably the least common, you know, tongue and groove, one by six plank, one of the least common, um, you know, substrates and, and roofing uh, uh, constructions that we're gonna come across, that we're gonna be installing on. Mostly it's rafter, plywood, OSB, Sometimes you get this plank, and that's why I chose it. This is the most highest probability of failure, and so that's why we're uh, presenting on this today. I got a rolled asphalt uh, bit here, a little easier to work with than the shingles, but representing the same um, the same property. Thanks for checking us out, and we'll see you again soon.